Spots back here. And it hangs up a little bit. Now we're at 175, that's perfect. And code 4. Not perfect, but still very sharp. Recon 1. If I find the sharp spot on the knife, no, not a problem. If I find the wrong spot, no way. The forward part of the knife is still sharp, but where all the work was done back here. So let's just try very, very focused with the code four to cut on the back part of the blade and see what happens. Still sharp. So sharp. You can see that I'm cutting on the back part there, right? Still sharp. So, there you have it. I think it's clear that the uh, CTS XHP is a, it holds its edge for longer. I'm not going to say it's a better steel, but I, I think OS8 is good. But after 175 cuts, you can see that the uh, OS8 has lost its edge. Primarily, I mean, there's some part on the front of the blade that's not too bad, but back here where the heavy cutting happened, it's uh, it's dead. It just rips the paper. This one back here, apples to apples, still can cleanly cut the printer paper, and up, up here, of course, is not really damaged at all because of the type of cutting I was doing. It was mainly through the uh, through the body of the knife, not at the tip. So um, I can't really say it's worth the price difference. That's up to you. But you can see that in terms of end, edge retention, um, there is a significant difference. Uh, this was pretty, uh, pretty tough cardboard to be cutting through, honestly. It was double thickness. Maybe I'll get a sheet here and just show you if I can. But there's a couple of sheets there that are like laminated together or something like that. So it was pretty tough to get through. I got to say I felt a huge difference with the Code 4. Obviously because it stayed sharper, that's part of it. But also I think not having the coating on the blade, uh, I don't know why, but I just think it cuts better. I've experienced this with a couple of other knives I've had. So I'm gonna try to stay away from coated blades actually. Um, I don't think they're worth the extra expense. And uh, I think that the satin finish cuts better. Um, I, I know that's not the only variable here, but I think it made a difference for sure. It's just so much easier to get through the, the tough material with this than it is with the uh, Recon one. Anyways, uh, the, the only other thing I'll say is when I really had to push hard, you, you definitely notice the thinness of the handle. It really kind of bites into your hand a lot more than the rounded um, Recon 1 handle, but my hands are tired. It doesn't really make a difference. If you're doing that much cutting, you're going to get tired. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I have to say that I think the Code 4 wins, um, and I do think that that steel is worth the extra money, especially if you already like these designs and you just don't like the OS 8 for whatever reason. I wouldn't recommend batoning it. I'm not sure how it would do under lots of, like, uh, hard punishment and you know sort of being batoned but uh, other than that just for sort of everyday EDC hard use EDC um, it's going to hold its edge a lot longer than OS8. Thanks a lot for watching all the best.